What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment and I'm here to bring to you my preview video and predictions video for this week's game uh, Big Champion, Big Ten Championships game versus Iowa. I know it seems weird saying that but yep we're really at this point where we're playing for the Big Ten Championship in Indy. So, no, I didn't forget about making this video. I've had uh, some camera problems, so I'm back up and running. So this is the video. Sorry for being so late. So um, I'm here to, you know, talk about the game. I know a lot of people, you know, are still on the high from winning, you know, the game, the game versus Ohio State. But there's another game to win. You know, it's not over with. Uh, the season obviously is not over with. Uh, there's a lot more riding. So, you know, we're just going to take this one week at a time. So, you know, I know a lot of people are worried about this game because of, you know, us being on such of a high and can we come back down from being on that high to be able to take on this Iowa team. I know that's what a lot of people are concerned about, but personally, I don't think that there's anything to be concerned about. And that's not throwing any shots at Iowa or anything like that, but I just think that this team is different this year from Michigan. Uh, there's a level of focus that, and um, just overall play that we haven't seen from any team in a long time, like this team this year. A lot of leadership um, that we haven't seen in the past, and I just don't feel as though that the team leaders are going to allow this team to slip up, be complacent, and, uh, you know, get upset like that. So, you know, I'm just going to get into the tips of the game, what I think that Michigan needs to do in order to get the victory. Um... You know, first and foremost, Iowa, I mean, offensively, seems very, very challenged. So they're not an explosive offensive team like playing Ohio State. Uh, they're real, real, almost like the complete opposite of that. So, you know, our defense should be able to easily handle their offense. Their strength is always, you know, obviously, their defense as well. And, you know, making plays on their defense to supplement their offense. So, if Michigan takes care of the football, doesn't turn it over, um, you know, no fumbles, obviously. They don't throw any pick sixes or no interceptions that give them short fields. Um, and we make them and force them to have to go the entire field in order to beat us. I don't see these guys scoring like that. I honestly feel as though if we score more than, I would say, 17 points, that we automatically win the game. I can't see them scoring more than 17. Um, that's just how you know, bad their offense is. So if we take care of the football like we've been doing all year, and you know we do the things that we, knew, we know what to do as far as on offense... And just play, you know, I'm not going to say conservatively, but, you know, we play within our abilities. We should be able to still score on these guys without, and on the flip side, not give up too much points. Um, so, in, honest, in all honesty, it's almost like whatever game plan that we probably were planning to have against Wisconsin, we need to have against these guys. If we do that, I think that we have a very good chance of winning. It's not going to be an easy game by any means. So it's not one of these things where you say, oh, well, you know, can't have the attitude that all we got to do is just show up and the, the victory is ours. Because that's not the case. We're going to have to obviously earn this victory. But, you know, if we play our game and we play with that the game plan that we would normally do against Wisconsin, I think that we win this game. Um, and, you know, just overall, I just feel as though, I know part of the, like I said, part of the concern is 
coming off the high of beating Ohio State, how can we come back to be able to take on this team and, uh, you know, have success? And, you know, to that I say one of the easiest ways to look at it is this is not... Now, if this were a regular season game, and if it were, like, say, the fourth game of the season, something like that, then I would honestly have that type of concern. Because it's like, you know, you're not... It's not that you're not playing for anything, but, you know, it's, it, it would just be a different situation. Also, I would be concerned if this was a road game where we had to go into Iowa and play. But it's not. It's on a neutral field. So both teams have to travel. So that's why I feel as though it's not as bad. We're not playing a road game. Um, you know, they, they're as much on the road as we're on the road. Neutral field, that negates a whole lot. And there's so much more to play for for this game. I suppose if it was just game four in the regular season where... Obviously, you want to win every single game, but you're not necessarily playing for something. This has got the Big Ten Championship on the line. It's got college football implications. So, obviously, we're motivated more than anything else to get this victory. So, that's why I'm not too concerned about us being able to get up for this game. You tack down on top that Harbaugh has 1.5 million reasons why he wants to win this game, I think these guys are going to be motivated to win. So, um, personally, I think that my prediction, mm, like I said, I don't see these guys more, scoring more than, than 17 points, but I'm going to say more than likely it's going to be like 20, we'll say 28 to 13. That's my prediction. So, we'll see what happens in the game. Like I said, you know, this is for everything. We've never been in this position before. So, I know these guys are hungry. I know they're motivated. I mean, there's a lot of first-time experiences on the line. And I think that they're going to get the job done. So I'm not concerned about us coming out flat, playing down to the opponent, anything like that. I think that we're ready to take on this moment. So I, th I, th I think we're going to win. Um, like I said, I don't think it's going to be easy, but I think that we have the ability, if we play within our the way that we've been playing all year, we don't turn the football over, we don't give them an opportunity, um... I think that we're going to win. And on top of that, um, you know, we, we have to be able to, for the most part, put these guys away real quick. And by that I mean, don't allow them to, to hang around. You know, the last time that we played these guys, you know, actually the last two times that we played these guys, it was just, it was just a close game for the whole entire game. We couldn't do anything ourselves, but, you know, it was within a score for, like, the whole game, which was nerve-wracking, obviously, but it, it just allowed them to be as much in the game as we were, so hopefully we can get up, like, a couple of scores and then just allow our defense to just be pinned back, because, you know, like I said, they don't have a good offense, um, so... You know, as long as we play discipline, discipline football and we don't take them for granted and allow them to, you know, have the confidence to stay in the game, uh, I don't see these guys being it being that, that close. So, we'll see what happens. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I'll be making another video, hopefully. I mean, obviously, I'm going to be making my... Um, my takeaways and analysis video, but I'll be making another video. I should, really should have been a couple of days ago, but like I said, I've been having the camera problems about um, the future of Michigan football uh, after you know the fallout of the win versus Ohio State. So that should be up shortly. 
Anyways, thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, definitely feel free to leave a like on the video. It definitely helps me out. Uh, if you like my content, leave me let me know how you feel in the comment section below. Uh, do you think that we have a good chance of winning this game? And, um, you know, if you like my content, definitely subscribe to the channel. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. And as always, go blue.